Hey, yo, what the fuck? All right, you've read the title. You see what I'm about to talk about. All right, cool. This has to be the dumbest thing that I have seen when it came to Tekken 8 news. Uh, I know Tekken 8 is not in a good state right now, but for the most part, I think the game is still enjoyable at its moment. However, there have been people online uh, doing a freaking comparison between Tekken 8 and Tekken 7. I think this is the most pointless thing ever. And I'm going to give you the main reasons why. All right, number one, the matchup in terms of the comparison is not fair. You cannot compare a game that's been out barely for 10 months and compare it to a game that's been established for 10 straight years. Also, despite everything, I'm going to make it easy for you. You're, there's no point in the debate because even if you don't like Tekken 7, Tekken 7 is better than Tekken 8 in general. Tekken 7 is more refined. 8 is still in the oven. It still needs to cook. It hasn't gone to season 2 yet and everyone's already starting to talk about debates and shit. It's the dumbest thing I have seen or I've read. And a lot of people already summed it up. That there's no point of a comparison, especially since the game just came out. We got to give it some time to get better. And hopefully it gets better because uh, I did mention, I think at some point, if season two isn't as impactful, the game could easily fade. And I don't think that's the case, but who knows, right? That's the only fear I think a lot of people seem to have. It. They want the next season to be really good. They want things to be ironed out. They want characters to be balanced. And that's what everyone's fearing. So this comparison makes no sense and I don't really see the reason for it. I think it's just adding more fuel to the fire and it's not necessary. Uh, the other main thing is the fact that even if this comparison was made, I'll give you the realistic answer between 7 and 8. The only thing that Tekken 8 has over 7 was possibly how graphically it looks. Everything else, 7 wipes the floor, even if you don't like it. It's that simple. So the debate's over. Done. I just gave you the answer. You're welcome. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to talk about. I didn't want to make a huge, big-ass video because I've already seen a lot of YouTubers already say and put their own two cents in. Uh, there's going to be a YouTuber I will link. There's one video I saw, and uh, I completely agree with his point. I just don't understand why everyone's trying to add more fuel. It makes no sense. It's kind of dumb. Uh, regardless of how the state is of the game, I'm still going to play it. I still find it enjoyable. And if and to each their own. If you're bored of the game, or if you don't like playing online, you can take a break. And I will, I pay respect to anybody who does that because there's nothing wrong with deciding on taking a break or not wanting to play the game anymore. But put your money where your mouth is. Either you actually wait for the game to get better, or if you really don't want to play the game anymore, just f off. No offense, that sounds really harsh. But the reality is, everyone's just making excuses. And either you decide to continue playing and wait, wait it out, or Stop playing in general. There's other games to play, and it's up to you if you want to or not. All right, cool. That's it. Later.